Hi guys, okie dokie, moving along. So, I'm back with these gorgeous um, boxes, tens. So, just to reiterate, I have a sewing box coming up like the Easter box, but it's not ready yet. So, it's gonna be fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Um, so many goodies. I have uh, so many sewing things and fashion things and just a lot of goodness um, to fill that box up with. Um, and then that's not ready yet, so I'll end the sale before I show that one. So I'm trying to see if this is going to be my end of video. I think it is. I think this will be my final video for now. And then as I have time, I'll come back and you know do some do some other um some other lots and things like that for you guys um, just so you know just to keep my channel lively and fun and up to pour if you will <laughs> um, that kind of thing I'll show this one first this one is a, it's a dead giveaway what's in there okay um, so this one is gonna be let me see where are my lot tags I hope you guys are doing something fun and having a good time with whatever it is you're doing and crafting along and um, yeah and just doing some fun stuff okay so this one is going to be lot number 104 and it's going to come with this little pack of because I wanted to keep um, the original button packaging and I'll show you that in a minute on there um, in case you want to revamp those button cards because a lot of ladies do um, and they're great for sewing journals and great for um, stitchery journals um, fashion journals anything you know stitching sewing crochet knitting needle -dry, stitchery stuff <laughs> fun okay so this 10 measures and I've shown it before I filled it up with some gold buttons. I think I showed you guys a sneak peek of that. It's about three and an eighth. And my measurements are rough, 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 because I can't see good, guys. Four and a quarter. And then two and three eighths. Okay, so there's that one. I have one like this myself because I don't sell stuff that I wouldn't like myself. <laughs> um, I fill mine up with rubber bands and here's my top. It says flower seeds. So I got my rubber bands in there. Um, okay, so let's open this and I'm not gonna count these. I don't know how many buttons are in here, guys. And I am not gonna put you through the brutalness of counting all the buttons but there are some really nice ones in here let me just get a good pick of that okay lots of anchors and emblems and insignia chain buttons buttons with chains Ooh, look at this one. I didn't see that. Look at that one. That's a knight. That's cool. I didn't see that in there. A lot of these, I just got them from, you know, my stash and from sales and put them all together. I sold um, tins like this before. Um, here's some lions. I think that's a lion. Ooh, Lord, I can't see it. Or is that a unicorn? There is a difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, there's a P. There's a lot of P's in here. And small buttons and big buttons. And I'm not sure what they were. If they were uh, for someone's names. Obviously their initials or whatever. Let's see. What is that one? Oh, look at that one. That one's rustic. Oh, that one has a crown on it. Ooh. Isn't that cool? I didn't look at these guys, I'm telling you. I didn't pick through them. I just threw them down in, a, in the tin. This one has a 
Is that a rifle? This might be a military. I have two buttons that I had on Etsy. Yeah, look at that. See the rifles? Wait. Is that rifles? Or maybe my eyes are just... I think that's rifles. Or axes. Ooh, I can't see. Okay, um... Yeah, see, that's in, like military or some type of service button. Representative insignia of service of sorts. Um, they are all over the place. This one is really cool. This one would be pretty for starstruck or astrology or something like that. So, yeah. There are those. I didn't count these. I don't know. There's another P button for... Paul, Paula, I don't know. Pedro. No sé yo. Pero es un botón. <laughs> Con P. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, wait. What is that? What is that? Oh, Lord, come on, camera. What is that? I don't know. All right, and then these are hooked together. They're vintage silver. They're, these are like domes. These are really fun. These are easy to use on the front covers of journals, too. These are more flat like discs. There's several of those in there. You know the saying, distracted by shiny objects? Guys, <laughs> that's me. That's me right now. Sometimes my own stash impresses me. Can you imagine? I know y'all feel it. Y'all feel it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You go through your own stash and you're like, dang, that's so cool. When did I get that? These are really flat. Those are cool. When did I get that? <laughs> oh my gosh. There's another flat one. These are heavy. This one and that one I just put down. And there's more flat ones in there. We've got some religious stuff. And, oh, what is this one? Mm, I don't know which way it goes. I can't see, guys, which way that goes. Can you see it? Okay, so there's that. Ooh, eight minutes on buttons. There's a lot in there. And this is lot um, number 104. You get a nice, cute little tin. There's a side Nabisco matches. Nabisco and matches. And there's the front of it. This is lot number 104, and this one is going for... 17 bucks. There you have it. It's a lot of good stuff in there. Now if I could just get this washi tape to cooperate. And it's not going to cooperate. So let me get another one. I don't have time to look for the ending of that. Oh gosh, I don't have any junk washi, guys. All my washi is precious. <gasps> no! Okay, let me go get my tape thing. Oh my god. Oh, I have some in here. Some of these and I really shouldn't say that because no washi is junk washi. It's all good, but some washi I just don't use. Um... 
there we go so that's lot number 104 and that's 17 dollars with shipping it's pretty heavy it'll probably cost me about eight dollars to mail it roughly okay so there's that 104 um and then i have oh and these go with it too so you get a little pack of gold buttons here and I love these because these, you know, they're some, the previous owners saved these little clips. Those are really important and significant. You can use those on charms and things. So you get that pack, original card, this pack, and this one, and that one. Okay, I'll just stick those in there as little extra thank yous. There will be no thank you notes in these, um boxes and sales and so on and I'm gonna leave the while I'm showing you this stuff I'm gonna leave the um, leave the sale up for a while before I start donating and packing off for flea market sales and that way you know people who come through some of you ladies um, who c might come through and want to buy something later like for the Christmas ones so I'll leave those up for a while um, there were no takers on those thus far um, and the price is going to be the same so if they stay there and there is no one who emails me um, to uh, buy one of those I'll just hold on to them um, probably through maybe October and then I'll just donate them okay or put them in you know donated packs or whatever okay this one is really cool. This is an old box um, and it's kind of got this gorgeous, I picked it up to save it. Um, it has like this beautiful, I don't know what this is, but it's kind of that burnt um, art um, kind of, and you're sorry guys, there's so much noise in the background. There's people mowing yards and weed eating and blowing stuff uh, my refrigerator sounds horrible um, the ceiling fan is tink tink tinking so it's just a lot of stuff and I'm really sorry we're lucky my dogs you, you don't want them to get involved you, ju you just don't um, previous video shows what that looks like anyway so this is really a pretty wooden box. It's wooden throughout. It's got gorgeous designs on the sides, flowers, florals on the side of it. Here's where it has come loose. The top has come loose. It's old. It's an oldie but goodie. And there's the side of it. It's got some, let's see, what does it say there? I, I haven't done this. I should do this before. It says... Uh, Wizard. W-I-Z-A-R-D. Wizard Graham. G-R-A-M-M-E-E. -E, and something else. I can't see it. Can y'all see it? <laughs> this is crazy. Of course you can't see it. You have to rely on what I say. And I don't know. It just says wizard something. Anyway, it's a gorgeous box. And I thought it was worth preserving and saving. So I did pick it up at a thrift uh, shop. I love the edging here. This It's like it's burned. Um, what do you call that? There's a little pin that goes in the side that's supposed to hold this into the wood. I should have got uh, had my husband fix it, but I wanted it to be original. I didn't want it to be tampered with or um, I didn't want us to try to fix it because that's what you guys might want to do is try to fix it. Yeah, so there. But anyway, there it is. Now, what's inside of it? Lots of goodies. Okay, let's take a look. There it is there. I put in some pretty buttons okay so I put some um, little buttons in here these are so cute they're teeny tiny on the original card all the buttons are there was 39 cents originally that's a nice button card little things for me is what matters I know a lot of people can get so much stuff 
but it's the itty bitty things that I just really, really like to highlight. Um, and I will say, what's her name at Ephemeris Vintage Garden? If you've ever never seen her, it's a red book she called a, um, oh, what did she call that book now? I've forgotten. It's from years ago. That video will always stay with me because she highlights different um, pieces like this in a journal um, and sort of collects and preserves um, different pieces. There's some, some uh, beautiful measuring tape from Tamara. Some tickets. An old vintage, whatever that is. I'm not a seamstress and I always say my greats and grands are rolling over in their grave going, you should know what that is, but I don't. So there's that. It's a sewing thingamajiggy. I don't know. It's a gizmo. It's a sewing gizmo. Um, I put some lace in here. That's really pretty. There's about six uh, doilies there. And a pretty card. These boxes are really eclectic. And in a variety. Which is eclectic. It means it's not a specific theme of sorts. But it's whatever it's all over the place a variety very diverse here's a clock I'm um, 10 these are beautiful on journals got that from Tamara here is a tiny little um, embroidery hoop that I just absolutely love and it fit down in this box perfectly here is some Dritz um, hooks and eyes you can Use these on stitchering pa stitchery panels. I used mine. Um, whoops. Okay, I might have to put a piece of tape on that, guys, because it doesn't want to cooperate. In. It's a 1983 Dritz um, thing. There we go. And I'll show you how I use those on my stitchery panel. This is what I did. This is my Roxy creation, and thank you, Roxy, Sarah, and their mama Juju. Um, for inspiring me again to celebrate my history and family of sti stitching. Um, I never had time for this stuff because I was in school um, and very focused um, and, you know, a young mother. And um, I really was looking to, for the future to provide for my daughter independently myself. No governmental assistance, no men, no marriage. <laughs> I was doing everything on my own like my grandmama. So I use this. So I say all that to say I can celebrate a lot of history. And those are things I will talk about um, a lot in more detail at some point. Um, but anyway, I used um, these little hooks and eyes in my stitchery panel. And I'm really grateful. The reason why I'm talking about that is because I'm super grateful that... Um, the I, you know, uh, participated in this this stitchery uh, project with the girls Sarah and Rachel, Rachel and Sarah and their mama, um, because it really did help me. I had started stitching before I got involved in their um, projects, and so I was able to put my snippet roll. Um, onto my panel and follow their prompts and I'm working on a second one so that I can connect them together and I'm definitely going to put in these little um, doll clothes I love them um, I you know somebody emailed me and said oh, that's a really good idea to add doll clothes to stitching I said yeah it is it really is thank you for the email and saying that's a good idea I really like that <laughs> thank you um, so I will be using these little baby clothes doll clothes in some to my panels because they'll remind me of my grandfather's um, both paternal and maternal and um, I can't wait. My uncles, um, I just all the, the men, I want to celebrate the men in my family. The women, whew, they got it going on. It's, it, I, you know, they, they did everything they were supposed to do. Um, but I do want to highlight men in my family um, because they were all, for me, they, they weren't all great husbands, but they were great uncles and grandfathers and brothers and um, nephews and you know they were just wonderful people and that's my experience and I love them all and um, channel them all all the time 
my great grand's maternal and paternal side. Um, and remember, I have two daddies. Um, I have a biological father and an adopted father. My adopted father raised me. My biological father, I was able to spend um, half of his life with him. And um, he was able to help uh, enjoy and help raise my daughter. And when I say raise, I mean traveling. We did so much traveling back then and sort of highlight and enjoy things with her. And so I have a lot to celebrate. And so I have to take a second while I'm doing these drips, eye loops and hooks. That can spark so much memory for me. And it it's highlighted here. It shines through here. And I can't wait to try more uh, of these kinds of projects as I'm going through the PhD program. And um, this will be my therapy, my downtime. Um, this will be my self-care. It, it will be all the stuff as well as writing in the beautiful journals. All the ladies have um, gifted me that I've won in, um, you know, um, uh, what do you call them now? I forgot what they're called. I do used to do them quite a bit. Um, winnings, um, the ones that I bought and purchased. So I'm excited. I have a lot of creative um, therapy and things to do um, in my my stuff. But I really do want to say thanks to Rachel and Sarah and to the ladies who have made me and I've bought beautiful journals from y'all because I'm going to be using those too. Um, in between relaxation from the graduate school program. Okay. Anyway, so that's the celebration. Okay, so so hooks and eyes, that's what I use mine for. Some people use these on dangles. Those are great. And you get the original original packaging. Um here are some yo-yos. And this one. And then look at this. Oh, look at this. This is a packaging from, um, I mean, um, stitching from Tamara gifted me. And I've used some, you saw the word wake. Uh, not wake, wait, what is it? Um, I use some of that. Wake is one that I cut out from my stuff, but I've got a host of these um, cross stitching pieces from Tamara. I just put some pins down in there. They're not covered, so be careful if you decide to purchase this. They are sticking out. And then this old image, I don't know who these people are, but they're found and lost and found. They might be found again. Um, anyway, there's that. Uh, <laughs> there's some, um, what do you call these? Appliques. And so those are really pretty. I've saved some for, for myself. Remember, I don't sell anything that I wouldn't want for myself. I wouldn't gift anything that I can't imagine using for myself. I wouldn't donate anything um, that I can't imagine using for myself um, if I were a crafter. So needles, you have a pasteurized heavy cream tab. Um, this is really beautiful. And this again reminds me of Debbie Ann at Ephemer's Vintage Garden. Her um, book um, that she made years and years and years and years and years and years ago. Um, where she took pieces like this um, that were in their original state or close to their original state. And just put them on a page to highlight and preserve the vintage. Um, I'm not sure how long this stuff will be around. I mean, it's a lot of it, but you know, a lot of people are picking it up these days as well. There's some snaps. Those make cute little, um, you know, when you do those fold, I'm not a big fan of those fold out concertina, concertina kind of things. Um, and journals that fold and fold and unfold and unfold. I'm not a fan of those personally. Um, but these are great to snap pages together. They're great for sewing journals, that kind of thing. Here's some tickets. Here's some bobbins because I have tons of them. I will show you my gr my grandmother's um, thimbles. Um, they look just like this, but hers are hers are pretty old and used like her scissors. I'm saving all of that for uh, making um, a assemblage box to highlight my grandmother's old things. Um, and I haven't shown. I'm just beginning. Um, I haven't shown a lot of her stuff yet. Her these guys. Mm -hmm. 
I remember those as a kid when she would be cutting her quilting pieces. Oh, there are those. Here is a clover. Um, one of these kind of thingies. I don't, I don't know. I think that marks up patterns is what I, I believe that. My grandfather, who was an artist, used to excuse me, use this to mark up the paper of the letters. He was a sign painter. And then he would dab powder on it so that you could see the traces of this. And then he would paint um, on the surface um, by using some of these. But this is obviously for sewing and patterns. Here are some um, old pieces here. Um, fabrics and those probably were meant to be yo-yos another old box of needledry and forgive me guys for my sniffing my my allergies are they're starting I keep saying that and then the people or everybody around is doing yard work it's like no <laughs> but it's a good thing right so there's that there's only two needles in there I think one of them is threaded a paper a hair clip a pin um, one of these thingies. I love putting these in my sewing themed um, boxes. The bigger box is going to be off the chain. It's going to take me a while to fill it up because I don't fill these things up like all at once. I do it over months. Um, that's a really, uh, that's just the way it goes for me. There's some pretty scrap pieces. I love these. I think those are fat, uh, feed sack fabrics. And here is some old yellowed seam binding that's really gorgeous. It's called eggshell. I still use that nowadays for this color. They have all kinds of uh, cool names <laughs> um, for this. And that's unopened with that yellowing. Now, while I'm showing you this, um, the beautiful thing about these boxes is that they can also just sit and be a decor decorative box. They can be a box for inspiration. So instead of you um, stressing over how to use all of this, if you don't know how to use um, this kind of thing, you might just have a box that just sits on your desk or on a shelf that just inspires you. That's the way when I curate these and, and when I started to think about tins, I was inspired by... Um, um, shopping out with my mom at estate sales and at thrift stores and I would just pick up these bags we all can find them they're not difficult to find of just sewing goodies and I'm like how inspirational is that um, instead of discarding um, the beauty of these old pieces we reserve them and save them and use them if we can and if we can't we might just have them as inspiration because a lot of the guys if I showed you this big old huge shortbread cookie tan that I have it's old and beat up and rusted and it's got all the original stuff that I found in it when well not all of it because I've used a lot of it actually um and kits and things and this is some really pretty variegated thread I like that a lot um it's got all the stuff in it this is a, a teacher's table little bit little art bit so cute. I love that. I use a lot of her little pieces in my own stitchery. I love to combine um, her little art panels with um, on my big large art panels. And then here's some buttons. And these remind me of that, paint, that tape that you guys make. That faux um, old tape. And here are some little scissors. So I get inspired when I, my mama and I used to go estate sailing, I mean estate hunting, uh, scavenging for things um, for our Etsy shops. I just, you know, one day it just clicked and said, I said, oh, these sewing boxes, we can, I can curate those because I have enough stuff to do that. And that's where this idea for me uh, came to be. And there's some DC and okay I doubled up on those I'm taking that one out I don't know do you want the red one or the green one decisions 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 I'm gonna put the green one in there and then um, here's an old picture of somebody some people I don't know who they are that was in some estate sales stuff that's an old 1970s get down with the get down photo 
and um, here's some more buttons here is I'll show you this in a minute here's a needle um, seam cutter seam I forgot what you call those but there's that one here is a pretty um, little line of um, hooks and eyes these are beautiful little reser reservation pieces to preserve in uh, sewing journals and then I doubled up on these um, pin things so I'll take one of those out because you don't need but one really to be honest um, there's that one looks like an Indian and then some pins right there okay so um, what's in this paper stuff um, let's see this is I think I showed you guys a preview of this a big paper of gorgeous um, cross stitching pattern now I would use this if I were if I was you know interested in a tin like this or a box like this I would use this for collaging in sewing journals um, and and or uh, pages in sewing journals is what I'm trying to say so there's that and then this is um, has a host of old threads so you get a panel of this gorgeous thread and I'll try to go through slow to show you what the previous owners handwriting says 1618-1682 for whatever that is Esteban Barcelona Esteban Murillo so there's that one and then here's this panel these are gorgeous old cottons I think they're just beautiful threads and why am I not keeping these because I'm not a professional stitcher and I don't ever <laughs> I'm not striving to be that stitcher like that <laughs> I love stitching just for stitching and I love using vintage but I think somebody else would love up this stuff way better than I ever could so there's three panels of that and then in here I imagine these came with this I haven't looked I didn't open it up but here's a um, netting of sorts it's very stiff quad like oh I almost said quad quadritos uh, squares little bitty squares little tiny squares and then here is this paper I try not to tear it I get excited with this stuff like we all do but I try to be careful not to tear things because there we go and this is gorgeous purple there's a vase with flowers a vase um, or is it wait a minute guys I don't know what that is wait hold on let me show y'all because you stitchy people will know that's what's at the top and maybe I don't know what this is it said Barcelona Murillo I don't know I can't tell what it is but cross stitching is so intricate it's like can you see all that <laughs> oh my god okay let me fold that up this is coding I don't do codes <laughs> oh lord okay let me put it back there it is I want to be careful to fold it I may not fold it back the right way that it was, but okay, so there's that. 
that goes in there. And I might put this stuff on top. Okay, so this is going to be lot number, where's my, okay, I lost my lots. Okay, here we go. This is lot number 105. And this, let me get my pen. This is going to be, um, I think I'm going to do lot 105. I think I'm going to do $28 on this one too, guys. Yeah, I think $28 is good. So there you have it. Lot 105. Ooh. Lot 105. $28. Okay, so that's that one. All right, so I will put this away and then I will keep showing you more. Okay, so I've got it all put together. I just put everything in this little bag there. And now, let's see if we can get the other pieces. Whoops. If we can get these in here. I hope so. It's these because these are really bulky. So, oof. Mm -mm. See, that's why sellers, we don't like unpacking stuff. We should pack it either on film or, <laughs> but that's part of the, that's part of, that's probably the most, um, if you're a seller, shout it out. I don't know, but that's probably the most annoying part is being a seller's repacking stuff up. So I'm going to put those out separate and leave this together. The little pin is right there. It goes in the side of that. I'm sticking it down in there. Um, maybe I'll just slip it down in this bag. That's the safest place, right? Duh. There we go. And then that closes nicely. I will put um, a rubber band around it to secure everything. And then put those in. Um, let's see. Okay. So this is lot 105 for $28. It's a really beautiful. Um, gathering I think very pretty nice things to preserve too if I can find that old Debbie Ann video I will do my best to to find that um, and link that for you if I remember <laughs> because oh my goodness I'm trying to finish up here okay so there you have it that's gonna be lot 105 for $28 and I'll be back to show you the other ones